Welcome. Today we're going to build an air cannon. Unlike most potato cannons you've heard of, this cannon has no exploding part. First you will need a Schrager valve. This looks like a regular bicycle tube valve. You'll need two two-inch PVC end cap. You'll need some two-inch PVC pipe cut into three, two three-and-a-half inch pieces, one six-and-a-half, one seven-and-a-half, and one two-and-a-half inch. You'll need a one-inch piece of PVC pipe seven inches long, a two-inch by two-inch PVC connector, T-connector, a two-inch by one-inch PVC T-connector, a three-quarters by one-inch bushing, and a one-quarter by one-inch, one-and-a-quarter by one-inch bushing, a male and female, two different things, adapter, that's a one-and-a-half inch, and a one or, or two-inch male and female adapter. You'll need a two-inch nipple and a one-inch nipple, that's uh, three-quarters, and a three-quarter inch ball joint or valve. You'll need also some tape and a two-inch piece, three-quarter inch PVC. You'll also need your standard uh, PVC primer and cement, along with some petroleum jelly. And All right, the first thing that we're going to do is put together the air intake mechanism. In order to do that, you'll use one of the two-inch end caps. You will drill a three-eighths inch hole in the end of it and put in the Schrader valve and glue that in place using your primer and your uh, cement. When you're finished, it will look like this. So, there we have it. We were, our next project will be to do the air out take mechanism. In order to do that, we will use the 2 inch by 1 inch PVC connector, the 1 inch by 3 quarter threaded bushing, the two nipples, and the ball joint. All right. You can, when you use the primer, you just put it on very liberally. It usually only takes about a minute for it to dry, the primer. Now put the primer on the inside of the two by one and a half inch T connector, and then glued the bushing, the threaded bushing into it. When you put the glue in, you make sure that when you, you put plenty of glue and then once, if you can, you twist it, what you glued in, so that it makes a very airtight connection. So now we have these two glued together. We will now put in a bushing, I mean the nipple. In order to do this, when you, you must use your plumber's tape or the Teflon tape. To do this, you simply take the tape, wrap it, I'll get about to three layers of it, going opposite of the way that you will put When you're finished, your air expulsion unit will look like this. The way this is going to work, keep in mind, it needs to be closed in this position and open in this position. This is what you're going to use to trigger the firing of the air cannon. Very good. Our next project will be to put together, put the air intake unit and attach it to the air expulsion unit. We'll go like this. Making sure that you have the handle away from one valve. I also want to show you and demonstrate how to prime and, and put these together. It's very easy to do. 
take your purple primer, P for purple, apply literally inside the pipe you're going to do, attach, and on the outside of the one that goes in it, along the edges. Make sure you get the edges. This has to be airtight. And make sure you are working in a very well ventilated room. It will take only about one minute for this to dry and then we can glue it. Once the primer has dried, it is now time to glue it. Again, put the glue on the inside, apply liberally on the inside of the pipe, making sure I cover all areas. Then, take the unit, press it down, press it in there, and twist. That should make a very good air intake and expulsion. All right, now we will go over the construction of the piston. The piston is integral to the functionality of the cannon. In order to build the piston, you will use hot glue sticks. You'll need about six of them, 16 of them rather. Cut them into small pieces, put them on the stove, and melt them. Once they're melted, you'll need a mold to put them in. Cut a piece of spare PVC pipe about three inches long and coat the inside with either a piece of tin foil or small metal. Put it in the inside. Make it as round as you possibly can. Then coat the inside with petroleum jelly. Once your glue sticks have melted, pour it in and let it dry. When it's finished, it will look approximately like this. You will need one, however, that is about two and a half to three inches long. Now we will, once you have completed and built the piston, you will slide it in to a one half, or to the up, uh, six and a half inch piece of PZC pipe. Coat the inside of it very liberally with petroleum jelly and it will be able to slide back and forth easily. Find the smoothest side of the piston and push that away from the air intake and expulsion unit and glue it in place. Okay, the piston unit will go in here, however, in, into the air expulsion unit. However, in order to buffer the piston and have it where it won't go so far back in, you must put in your seven inch piece of one inch pipe. Just slide it in here, it fits in here loosely. We will now push this in. The, the the piston itself is actually only going to move approximately an inch and a half at any time. Let me glue this. Once the unit is complete with the piston in place, you should be able to hook it up to the bicycle pump and notice how it comes out. It would be almost airtight, but not quite. If you hold it, you should be able to figure it. Also, it should travel only about two inches, that's all. Make sure the inside is coated liberally with petroleum jelly. All right, with the piston all the way in, press it in as far as it can go, the piston. Take your tape measure, measure to get the, how far it is from the end of the pipe, and place a mark with an ink pen. There. Now you know where the end of the piston is as far as you can push it in. Next, we're going to put the female adapter on the end. So now you have the air intake, the expulsion, the piston with the female adapter on it. This unit will set it aside and begin to work on the barrel end. Alright, now we're going to begin on the handle and mid section of the cannon. For this we'll need the two inch T-connector, 
small section here, the, the male two inch adapter, small section in the front, and the male one and a half inch adapter. We will glue all those together. Here it is, all primed up and ready to be glued together. And now we begin to put the uh, unit together with the handle, end cap, and the, we already have the two inch male adapter. We we'll now place the one and a half inch male adapter on the other end. All right, and now we have the handle and mid section of the unit complete. The hand with the expulsion and intake unit simply be screwed in to that. Again, making sure that we use the tape on the male end. Now you will screw these two together, making sure that you put in plenty of tape. And of course, you're going to want the, the handle to come all the way back around. And the way you'll do this, we'll be using the channel lock pliers. So that it will look like that. Now we will begin to work on the barrel unit. The barrel unit will consist of three parts. The barrel itself, the bushing that is one inch in the middle and one and a quarter will slide into the female one and a half inch adapter that will screw on into this. The bushing itself has a little ridge on the inside. You'll need to take a sand, piece of sandpaper and scrape that out and make it equal so that it can slide down on the barrel. We'll go ahead and do that. In order to assemble the barrel unit, you will need a piece of scrap pipe just large enough for the three-quarter inch barrel to fit down into it. Measure from the mark that you put that indicates the end of the piston to the approximate end where the female adapter will screw on and be tied. Between those two, that's how long it is. The barrel will fit down in this. We will take the bushing that has had the middle of it, sand it out, place it on the end of the pipe, and slide it down. We will put glue here and use this. We'll slide it down, and that will stop that in the right place and glue it. Once the glue is on, slide that down as hard as you can until it gets there. Perfect. The glue will stop it, or the pipe will stop it, and the glue will be in place. We will now glue the female adapter onto the bushing. We'll slide it down inside the pipe very carefully, and put it on. Very good. Now, the barrel would be ready to go in here. However, remember, the barrel is going to be pressing against the piston, and the piston is going to need an airtight connection so that no air can escape through the barrel. In order to accommodate this, we need a little rubber washer. We'll pull that, put that on there. We want it to stick out slightly past the edge of the pipe. In order to hold this in place, we will wrap black tape around the back of it. Those are several layers of the black tape around this, and then begin to bring it up on to the rubber washer. Now I will use the tape and wrap the male unit. Now using the channel lock pliers, tighten the 
barrel unit onto the rest of the gun, making sure it's airtight. At this point, you now have the gun fully assembled. For our first bullet, we're going to use just a piece of paper, wad it up, stuff it in our barrel, the gun, the pump, shut the valve, put the bike pump on it, pump it up, we will pump it up to 25 pounds. and see if it will shoot. We will shoot this. All right, to pump up your unit, make sure you hold the Schrader valve tightly. Don't pump, push the pipe, the air pump on it without holding it. Put it on, pump it up. You can pump it up to more, but never go over 80 pounds. 80 pounds when the unit has been fully dry. I'm going to pump it up to 35 pounds. All right, according to my gauge, I have it at 35 pounds. I've taken a small wooden three quarter inch dowel, wrapped it up with tape. I will stick it in the end of my barrel, poke it in. We're now ready. In order to pump it, I'm going to shoot the yellow pages and see what happens. As you can see, it hit the yellow pages hard enough to go into page, approximately page 33, with only 33 or 35 pounds of air. Thank you for joining us today as we made our mini air cannon. But check out our other products. We also have instructions on how to make the medium air cannon and the large air bazooka. Thank you. You have a great day.